Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about how to convert Firebase documents into an app state and then reuse uh, this data across all, all your pages. So currently right now if you actually open the app state or page state or component state it doesn't really matter because we have three types of states in the flow uh, projects right now. Uh, if you add a new state uh, the types that you have are limited. So right now you can only have a document, you can, you can only store a document reference uh, and you cannot store the document itself. Uh, we are going to actually hack that and store instead of documents because as you can see you can store documents but instead of, doc instead of documents we are going to store actually uh, the documents as a JSONs and then we can use those JSONs uh, across all your all our all around our application uh, and previously uh, there was not a way to do that but right now you can actually cache your uh, documents and then use it across your application uh, but uh, I'll just show you another way uh, how you can actually do this and if you want to store that in the app state because right now uh, even if you're using the cache the cache one or the cache feature you will not be able to store your documents inside the app state so let me show you how this works uh, it's super easy uh, it's pretty easy uh, this is my uh, page, uh, it's called convert docs to JSON, so if I click it, you actually see, you don't see it right now, but let me just refresh it real quickly. So the idea is that you actually see for a brief second that you get no values, and the reason for that is that there, there are some seconds, or some milliseconds that the data needs to be loaded and when the data is loaded uh, that's why you see those um, no values uh, but then when the data is loaded uh, you then see uh, the actual data from the app state and the reason for that is that we're actually using uh, an, we're using uh, onload actions and of course right now the test mode will not load for me as always i have my karma and the test mode is not loading when i started to record videos uh, but it is very simple uh, the thing is that when you actually uh, when you actually click uh, the page it will actually load uh, the data from firebase into uh, converted let me just show you so so now you can see that I will actually get no values so if I click over here you see the no values briefly over here and then they are converted into the actual data so this is the brand the cars brand I'm using my cars collection this is the brand cars uh, the, the brand of the cars and those are the owners of the cars uh, and then if I go here to actually show you how this can be done or how you can convert the Firebase documents into a JSONs. So first things first on the scaffold, uh, you can actually use uh, a, an action that I presented in my videos, which is get documents from collection. Uh, this is the video I'm talking about actually. It's uh, custom actions in Flutterflow top techniques for fetching lists of documents. If you haven't watched this video, make sure to watch it. It will actually uh, tell you how, uh, how you can do that. But uh, I can tell you that you have to uh, supply uh, the name of the collection 
and then you can supply only uh, also the limit how how many documents you want to supply because most of the time you don't want to take all the documents so you can supply the limit of it and then after that we want to actually use the uh, action output variable in my case it's cars res and then if i click on the sec the second action will be update app state and the app state that i'm going to update is uh json so that's actually my app state let me show you the app state the app state is very simple and the name of it is json's and the type it's a list of json's the uh, persistence is false so this will be my uh my app state and if i go again over here uh, i'm just using my app state and then i'm using actually a custom function and a custom function i'm using it's this one i actually will supply my custom function uh, in my github but of course uh, i'll actually recommend you to use my newly created website where you can actually use this code and if you click get code for example uh, you will be able uh, to supply your own collection and this will change uh, this will change the code and then you can copy the code and paste, and paste it in your editor uh, so i did that conveniently for you guys uh, to just do it this way because in my case I, like, like i said i'm using cars collection and i'm using my fields as well but you might have different fields and that's why uh, i did that for you it's a very simple function uh, the idea is that i'm getting uh, the collection and then for every single field i only have two fields right now in my collection cars it's the brand and the name and for every single field i get the field and then i, I convert this to chasens uh, and then when i convert it uh, the function is getting the documents as arguments so it's getting all the documents in my case you can see it over here define arguments and i'm getting cars docs and those are documents of the collection of type cars uh, and then when i'm done with that i'm putting the actual json because this will output me a list of json's and i'm putting my list of json's into uh, the app state called chasens and then when i go i'm creating here i have in here a uh, list view i don't have anything in my backend query and in my uh, gener uh, generating children from a uh, variable i'm choosing my app state which is json no further changes here and then I, i'm actually getting the car a single individual car and then have a simple row i'm putting it to the max uh, asic uh, asics alignment will be space around to to be like that and then i have the brand which is coming from the car item which is coming from here with generated children and then the json path and now i can use this data as json i can just say tower that and i can say what i want uh, to get in my case brand and then the second one will be dower dot and what i want to, to get in my case the name of it and like i said this is coming from those fields over here this one and this one so for example this can be brand but you can name it like uh, my brand for example you can just say my brand here and if you say my brand over here make sure that you say my brand over here as well make sure to change this to my brand as well in order to work i will not change it to my brand right now but you probably get the idea so <clears throat> that was it because there were a lot of people asking me for that so uh, just to, uh, just to recap this video should be over here you should be able to find the video over here so if you search for the video you should be able to find it and then when you find the video 
you can get the code, change your collection, change the fields as well. So there will be a uh, there will be so you can change the name of the collection. Will will automatically change the code for you, and then you can change the fields as well, uh, which will change the code as well. And then, like I said, you can copy the code, and you can actually copy the widgets as well. So if you copy the widgets as well, uh, you will get those widgets. Uh, if you want to try the same thing, uh, like I have in my case so that was it like i said uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video and i really hope it was helpful for you guys thank you bye bye take care